So I was putting cards away in a binder after posting my last video, and then I got a comment notification like this. Well, many comment notifications like this, stating the Magmortar you pulled was banned. And I had no idea, and I wanted to change that. But before we move any further, I wanna explain what I mean by banned Pokemon cards. Yeah, that. Banned Pokemon cards are cards that Pokemon decided to pump the brakes on because they were too explicit, absolutely busted in playability, or just too ridiculous for them to reprint in English. And I wanted to make sure that if I ever bought, saw, or pulled a banned card that I knew that it was an exclusive artwork. So that led me down a rabbit hole. I dove deep into all types of Pokemon cards, full arts, secret rares, trainer cards, and even waifus. I even somehow ended up reading articles about banned anime episodes too. I want you to consider this an opportunity to put those women in their place. Yeah. So yeah, stuff like that. But after doing all this research, what are the most interesting banned artworks, banned episodes, and cards that are no longer allowed to be played in the TCG? Well, that brings us all the way back to the beginning of the video. This Magmortar, the fiery powerhouse with flame cannons for arms that burst onto the scene in the Dragon Blade expansion. This card was banned because Pokemon thought the artwork was threatening and a little too intimidating. After all, Magmortar did look like he was showing you the piece. They later changed the artwork to seem less intimidating once released in English. It depicted Magmortar doing the duck face and not pointing its cannon arm directly at you. And something that I find pretty fascinating about this card is even though it's an entirely different illustration, unlike other banned cards, such as Koga's Ninja Trick or Sabrina's Gengar, it's illustrated by the same artist, Akira Komiyama, who is known for a ton of awesome illustrations, such as the Eevee from Call of Legends, Blastoise and Piplup GX, or most recently, the Miriam and Maridon alternate arts. In 1997, there was an episode of Pokemon only ever released in Japanese called Electric Soldier Porygon. It's probably the most infamous episode of the anime to ever be released, and it was actually given the nickname, The Porygon Shock. For a four second sequence during this episode, Pikachu attacked a group of missiles while red and blue alternating rapidly flashing lights came across the screen. Because of these lights flashing in this episode, more than 700 Japanese people suffered a variety of health concerns including epileptic seizures. So I hope you can understand why I'm not showing it in this episode because it actually gave me a headache after I watched it. And since this has happened, Porygon or any of its evolutions have never played another significant role in the anime. And speaking of evolutions, XY evolutions. Most people are probably familiar with this card, the Flappy Bird looking reprint secret rare that was way too easy to pull. And this card technically wasn't banned because if you put on your reading glasses and you look at the bottom, you can see where it says, subscribe to Pokemon DNA. Well, it doesn't actually say that, but it'd be pretty cool if you did. Just right there, that uh, red little button. It actually says this card cannot be used in official tournaments, but I thought it'd be still good to mention this card because it's kind of an odd one. And the reason why this card is so different than the others is because if you pop in and read the Pokemon power called Frenzied Escape, you can see that it says, when this Doduo retreats, hold this card and throw it as hard as you can because Doduo is running away. Throw the card horizontally with a snap to get the farthest distance. And also the attack has you sing a song when it's used. Of course! So la la la, this is my paradise, so live on. So that clip wasn't from a band episode, but the one coming up is, and to be honest, I really don't even want to talk about this one. This is totally embarrassing and degrading, but we need the money. <laughs> because it's literally too crazy not to mention. That clip was from the episode called Beauty and the Beach, and this was the 18th episode of the anime to ever be released. It features Ash, Brock, and Misty spending a day at the beach while Misty enters a beauty contest in order to help a struggling restaurateur keep his business afloat. This episode was controversial for many reasons. The wildest part in this episode was when James wears, um, we'll call it an inflatable chess piece and taunts Misty over her figure. Great job, Misty. Yeah. 
すでに乱入した大人のお姉さん2人組自分は決して嫌いではありません This episode was a first to be banned everywhere but Asia for obvious reasons. Subsequent reruns air a heavily edited version that is only 18 minutes long. The early Pokemon games had the game corner, I'm sure as we all remember. You know, you had to find the coin purse to be able to play the games, and in these games, you could win powerful TM moves that you could teach your Pokemon. Or gain other valuable prizes. And did you ever notice that this area was removed from later games? Well, they made a card inspired by the game corner, and it was called Arcade Game, or the Japanese translation, Card Flip Game. And the Japanese variation of it was banned because it depicted slot machines inside of the card's art box. Both of these cards were released in the first Neo expansions. In the Western releases, it was the exact same artwork, just zoomed in. To where you couldn't necessarily tell that they were slot machines and it could have just been another arcade game, even though the card art and effect still focused on a gambling perspective. Even though Ancient Mew is probably one of the top five most iconic Pokemon cards ever created, I didn't know it was banned, and I attribute this to the fact that none of us ever really read the cards or the pamphlets that come with the items that we purchase, or at least I don't. I'm too smart to read. The Japanese version of this card was released in the Power of One movie pamphlets. And it was available to purchase at participating cinemas through July 17th, 1999, as long as stocks lasted. In the Western countries, it was given out with the purchase of a ticket for the release of Pokemon the Movie 2000. Another interesting fact about this card that I didn't know to mark the 20th anniversary release of this card in 2019. They made a fourth Japanese print released in the movie pamphlets for Mewtwo Strikes Back. And after this, a fifth print was ran and given out in South Korea in 2020. So, yes, there are lots of them out there. Ancient Mew had an official translation from Wizards of the Coast from the runic alphabet, which it was written in, to modern day English. And this card was technically playable, but it wasn't really because it had very underwhelming stats and abilities. It was later banned in all formats, including unlimited format, which is only one of two cards to be banned in that category. And this is due to it being completely unreadable and rather annoying to play with, as I can imagine. This card was released as a Wizards of the Coast Black Star promo. And it was illustrated by Kagamaru Himeno. And it was made available through a Pokemon League Create Your Own Card campaign. People were invited to fill out a blank TCG card template along with an accompanying illustration, which could then be mailed to Wizards of the Coast. Fully completed entrants would then receive the card by mail. The Japanese variant, commonly referred to as the Not Awake Pikachu promo card, came inside the Japanese comic book volume number six called Pokemon Card Ni Not Awake. Which translates to how it became a Pokemon card in Japanese. And folks, this card ain't cheap in good condition. Birthday Pikachu isn't necessarily a powerful card, especially when compared to others like Sneasel, which is also on the ban list and also released by Wizards of the Coast. Birthday Pikachu's attack is called Birthday Surprise, and it says if it's not your birthday, this attack does 30 damage. If it is your birthday, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 damage plus 50 more damage. If tails, the attack does 30 damage. The reason it was likely banned in Pokemon tournaments was to avoid situations where players would have to prove it's their birthday. And we're just barely touching the surface of banned cards, banned episodes, and other items that were pulled back after release from the Pokemon company. But unlike the Pikachu card, you don't have to prove to me it's your birthday. But if you did want to prove to me that you like this video, you can click this link right here. Thanks.